a quick shout out to my guys and gals at the Geek Mino where all your geeky pleasures lie. Well, if you guys didn't know, uh, Geek Mino is a social media app for your phone. You can go check it out. I tend to use Aminos to spread my artwork or the YouTube videos, and Geek Amino is one of the Aminos that I use. So, yeah, check it out. We welcome you to the family, people. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to be speaking about patience. And patience, what are the odds? Just recently, just a few minutes ago, I actually recorded this video about patience, and then for some reason, the audio didn't pick up as well. So now I have to redo the video again. And so to use the analogy of running a race, many people wish to have instant gratification. Many people desire to reach the finish line as opposed to running the race, enjoying the process of running the race. And enjoying the race is where the fun is at, is where the juice is at. And even though I have to redo the video again, this does feel like a, a life test for more evolution, for more advancement. Just due to the fact I have to redo the video again and I'm pitting what I say, putting what I say into practice. And so, although in my prior video, I may have said some really cool things and gone off the script, I'm still enjoying the process. Maybe along the video, I may say something much more better, or it may not be better than the original version that I presented. However, I'm still enjoying the process. I'm still entering that flow. And so to bring back the topic of running the race, we have to understand the mindset of a track star, for example. A track star didn't dream of becoming a track star just to reach the finish line. The track star desired to become a track star to enjoy the process of running, to enjoy the process of the race. And likewise for a few gamers out there, uh, gamers don't buy a video game to immediately finish the game. They enjoy the process. They want to get really immersed in that world. The more the more focus on gaining the lot the knowledge of what you know the flow, what the present moment of the game is at, what's going on in, in the game, you know, as opposed to reaching the finish line, because the finish line is just going to be a byproduct of your enjoyment of of enjoying the process of anything that you're doing and so when it comes to practicing patience we have to understand that life doesn't rush Rome wasn't built in a day and when you're producing artwork it takes time for it to become great it takes time to produce well artwork but we, but we must also remember to enjoy the process as opposed to the end destination and so to put this into perspective as an artist did you become an artist to you know just have a finished product or did you become an artist because you enjoyed the process of drawing of painting of playing music this is similar to a track star did the track star become a track star because they just wanted to finish a race or did they enjoy the process of running did the gamer buy the the video game to you know just finish the video game or did they want to enjoy the process of finishing that video game because the finish line is a byproduct of enjoying that process and so like how life doesn't rush when a tree grows we usually don't notice a tree growing however it's still growing we usually use footage, footage like video cam footage of a, a tree growing in time lapse, but we never really notice a tree growing, even though it's growing and it's taking its time to grow. It's similar to how people are, you know, we're growing emotionally, mentally, you know, physically, and we don't usually notice it. So have patience, take your time when you're producing your artwork, because when you're in the moment of excitement, you'll know that you're in, in the right track of producing great artwork. And of course, there are gonna be, uh, there are gonna be challenges. 
However, it's the mindset that you have to the challenges which will determine your emotional state. So, when we're faced with a tough obstacle, we have to think in the position of a gamer. You know, when they're faced with a tough obstacle like, you know, a boss battle, they're in hyper-focus mode, you know. They aren't concerned with mistakes, you know. When they do make mistakes, they just get right back up. For their focus, their main focus is, you know, the thrill of that boss battle. They're in a zone. They're in the zone, so to say. And when you're in the zone, in a sense, you start to transcend mistakes. As if mistakes don't stop you. Mistakes, as Bob Ross put it, puts it, they're like happy accidents. Or you can see mistakes as stepping stones to becoming your greatest version. And so to practice patience and access the zone, focus on what you have right now, focus on what's going on right now, as opposed to focusing on what you want or what you don't have, because that's, you know, you're projecting your mind into the future. And the future is not where the zone is. The future, I mean, the present is where the zone is located at. So you must focus on what you have now what's going on right in front of you and that will be the video guys thank you for watching feel free to join the family peace out